Hey there, dear friends. It's Misty. Just raw and unkempt here. If you're new to my channel, I apologize for that. I have been uh, very much under the weather. I just got back from dropping something off to the post office, which is like 15 seconds from my house. And I triple mask. Um, it was a new customer that wanted their items shipped right away. So I did do that. I'm feeling a little better today. I don't have much energy, um, but I don't have the headache today. And, uh, but there will be no live sale today on Friday. I hope I feel like coming back uh, for Sunday to do the live sale. I'm sorry, I'm shaking the camera all over the place. Uh, I am the type of person that is always going, always doing, can't sit still to watch a whole movie. And it really bothers me to not be able to do anything, to not have the energy, to not feel like it. And I, I, it makes me feel down. Can anybody understand? Is anybody else like that? Um, I've always been a go, go, go person. But about four years ago, when the fibromyalgia came to me, it completely changed my life. It aged me by about 40 years. No kidding. And I, I could no longer be that go, go, go person. It slowed me down big time. But still yet, I do as much as I can. Um, and just when I never get sick, so I'm not used to it. I'm not used to being able to not do anything. So... I have, I want to say forced myself. I took my time. I changed the backdrop to my jewelry display table where I do the camera down jewelry sales to some beautiful butterflies <laughs> because spring is not far off. We just might get through this old cruddy winter. And I, I like to change up that backdrop, you know. I like for my little jewelry display table to look beautiful, but it needed to be cleaned off. I had quite a gathering of things that I love to look at and everything, but maybe it was too busy. So I've cleaned that off and recorded a buy it now uh, video of some new items. And also at the end of the video, if you stick around, I share some of my favorite things that I have in uh, on display in my bedroom, in my jewelry boxes. Um, so I've been straightening and going through some of my jewelry uh, today also. It's a little bit I felt like getting done. That right there, I just saw something on my jacket. Aggravating me. <laughs> I'm a little OCD about things and ADHD about things, y'all. But, uh, yeah, so that is going to come out like a premiere. And that will come out later tonight on Friday night. And once I get it posted up, uh, the link will be there. And you can set your reminder to watch that tonight if you don't have anything else to do. Or watch it at your convenience as a replay. But as a premiere, you'll be able to go in and live chat, say hello to friends, um, I don't know how many people would come for that and watch, but I do have some new beautiful things for sale, and you don't have to beat anybody out as an auction. It's just going to be a buy it now, and I'll take first come, first serve orders um, from the chat, or you could email me, okay, and I'll let you know if it's still available. And what I'll do is I'll let those sale prices for those items will stand and be good until my next live sale, which will probably be Sunday. I hope. I hope. So, um, I just wanted to check in and say hello, let you today to be looking for that if you'd like, and I'll finish with this. Today, I felt really down on myself. I don't know if it's because I don't feel well or, or what it is, y'all. It happens from time to time. And, you know, I had these critical thoughts, negative thoughts, 
toward myself. And they and they were just like beating me, beat me up or beating me down. And it was just making me feel worse and worse. And what I did was I remembered, I don't remember where I heard it from. You may have heard it said, talk to yourself as you would your best friend. And so I did. I said to myself, Misty, um, I thought, who I thought of it came into my mind first was my daughter Morgan, who's 16, my only girl, my last child, about to be out of the house in a couple years. She's college bound. And I thought about, you know, if Morgan, uh, as she got along in life, say she was married with kids, say she was sick, say she was feeling down and couldn't work and didn't feel like working, what, how would, what would I do if she called me up? And I said that to my very self. I said, Misty, you are fine. You don't feel good, you know? You are doing your best at being a good mother and a good wife and loyal friend and to show kindness to people, you know? You need to rest. You need to be kind to yourself. Be gentle with yourself. And don't listen to those negative thoughts. You know, you're a good person. You know, all these, like I would say to her, I said that to myself. And it helped. It's helping. You know, it, that, that kind of talk was soothing and comforting for me. And I didn't really was talking to myself. I was just thinking it. What would I say to Morgan? And I turned it around and said it to myself. So I have to do that sometimes. I'm glad that reminder came to me to do that. You know, uh, sometimes the hardest person to be good to is yourself, isn't it? So uh, anyway, I just wanted to let you know about the premiere tonight. And if you can't catch it when it's live, uh, please go back and watch the replay. You might see something you like. I look forward to being able to interact with you guys maybe Sunday. And thank you for your prayers and well wishes. And please leave me some love in the comments here if you don't mind. I really appreciate it. And I love you guys back in return. I'll talk to you soon.